We want to let you know that we're here for you. Even though we don't go to our offices every day, we are working out of our homes to make sure that we keep the industry alive, viable, and operating. Daily, we work with our livestock partners to see if there's anything we can do to help to alleviate some of the issues that they are experiencing. With the ethanol industry, we're also working to ensure that we have the markets that are available, both domestic and foreign. We are planning for our future events to take place before and after harvest, and we're exploring new ways to engage with our farmers moving forward. The 2020 MyScent program will be wrapping up this summer, and applications for 2021 will soon be open. The Between the Rows tour and yield checks are planned to take place at the end of August. Look for the dates, locations, and more information in our publications and on social media this summer. We're also making sure that our research projects continue to move forward so that we can provide farmers with valuable data to help guide decision making in the future. Recently, I've been working with farmers who planted cover crops last fall to help determine when the best time to terminate those cover crops is so that the corn or soybean crop can be planted. One consideration for planting is residue cover and the effect of residue on soil temperature. This field has quite a bit of corn residue left over. The soil moisture is looking good and the temperature is reading at 54 degrees Fahrenheit. I'll be out in the field all summer long collecting data just like this and other metrics related to soil health. During this time, we're fielding questions from consumers and from the media. They have questions about how farmers and supply chains are being affected by COVID-19. They have questions about where they can get ethanol-based hand sanitizer. And they want to be reassured that farmers are still in the field planting and that there's going to be food in the grocery stores and on their table. So we've been placing media articles, we've been recording videos of our farmers and using social media and other channels to get that information out. The Michigan Corn Growers Association has been in regular contact with state and national legislators to keep agriculture top of mind as they craft plans to reopen the economy and assist industries that have been negatively impacted by COVID-19. We have also recently sent every candidate running for office in the state of Michigan a questionnaire so that we can assess their stance on issues that will affect your ability to properly operate your farm. We want to make sure that you understand we're here for you. If there's anything that we can do to help you and your operation out, please do not hesitate to give us a call at 517 668-2676 or visit us on our website at www.micorn.org. We are here to help you and your operation out during this time.